you. Do you think when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock that he knew it was a mistake? I knew in one slap, I went from being a free woman to being a danger to myself and others. The year was 1979 and I spent 11 days in a military hospital with virtually no sleep. On day one, I left my toddler at the babysitter, supposedly for a few hours, I went in for my routine postpartum check. I'm sorry, prenatal check. Um, my blood pressure had doubled. And so uh, they decided to keep me, which was good because I, I was really worried. I hadn't felt well and had been to the emergency room. So just as I was starting to fall asleep that first night, the nurses come in and wake you up to take your vitals. You know, not once, but several times in the night. In the wee hours of day three, I started having contractions and this was my second childbirth. So I knew what contractions were. And I called on the intercom and told the nurse that I was having contractions every five minutes. And she said, go to sleep and quit bothering us. Okay, it was five more minutes until I went to the bathroom, my water broke, a nurse came and a doctor got into the room and delivered a three pound, nine ounce screaming baby boy. And my mother had had lost five babies and I wasn't sure if this little guy was going to live or die but I wanted to do everything I could for him in a few hours I was allowed to go into the nursery and there were like a dozen babies the other 11 were all fat chubby cheeks and their little pink and blue blankets but Jeff was over on the other side in an incubator hooked up to wires and tubes and totally naked, except for little cloth bands around his ankles, which they were using to keep him from pulling the IV out of his head with his toes. But I saw those little wisp of blonde hair and I knew that was my baby. And I really wanted to breastfeed him. So they were going to transport him to a NICU, uh, but by the next day they realized the NICU was full and I was there and starting to try to pump my breast. Uh, again, it was 1979 and this hospital had not gotten the word that you can freeze breast milk. So they decided I would stay in every three hours around the clock, I would pump my breast morning, night. And then by the next day I was having roommates, they were on a four hour schedule. So in between, of course, they come back and make you up to take your vitals. So by nine days, I had had virtually no sleep and I hadn't even seen my husband. He was overseas in Japan serving our country. He was an Air Force pilot. But on day nine, they brought him home. And I was just so relieved that I wasn't doing this all by myself. But by that point, everyone realized that my mental health was not good. And that they shared this with my husband. So he went to the BX and he bought me clothes and shoes and a purse and a box of hair color because he thought maybe if I touch up my roots, I would feel better. Um, on day 10, they started to come into the room and ask me who I was, what day it was. I told them my husband's name, rank, and serial number because that's what you're supposed to do when you're captured by the enemy and they might be torturing you. I knew that God had something very special in mind for me. I, I wasn't sure what, but I was just sane enough not to tell that to the person who was asking me the questions. And then my husband went back to the BX and he got me a watch that had not only the time, but the date. I'd never had a watch with a date, so I could tell them who I was and what day it was. By day 11, my son Jeff was no longer attached to all the tie wires and tubes. He was free and I was supposed to go home so that I could sleep. Everyone knew I hadn't been sleeping, but I didn't wanna go without him. We have a saying in Colorado, never get between a mother bear and her baby. And in that moment, I became the mother bear. I wanted to protect my child. I wanted to transfer him to another hospital. He was still in the incubator. He was like four pounds, but I just didn't trust these doctors. And I went to the incubator to get my son and the nurse who was in charge stood, stepped in front of me and I slapped her. And I knew in that instant that I had made a mistake. Within a few minutes, I mean, military hospitals don't mess around. I was in a straitjacket, 
in an ambulance being transported to a psych ward. I spent about two weeks on the ward. I was heavily medicated against my will. You know, when I got out, I could barely walk, talk, control my bladder, but I gradually worked my way out. Jeff got to the magical five pounds and came home. Uh, I worked my way off the medication. I was free of mental illness. I, I made a complete recovery. And now again, I am a free woman. Thank you. Woo! 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 Woo!